Okay, here's another one. Here's breast cancer mortality. And this is a friend of mine from Canada at the time, a good friend, researcher. At the time, we traded uh, talks and seminars. But in any case, what he was comparing here was a bunch of different countries, countries with respect to the risk of getting breast cancer deaths, if you will, this breast cancer deaths, uh, with saturated fat intake. Because in those days, uh, he and others uh, thought that, uh, you know, this whole thing that uh, as far as nutrition is concerned is really about saturated fat. It's bad. It's, that's wrong. That's, that, that's been uh, known for over 100 years. And very few people know that, but that it was a mistake. Uh, in any case, uh, he put saturated fat on there, assuming that that might be the cause, when reality is a representation of animal protein intake for different countries. Notice here the first four that I've got. The U.S. is near the top in these different uh, different cases here. So we consume more saturated fat, which comes from animal food. Just a representation is an indicator of animal food, animal protein fuel, more breast cancer mortality. Dr. Yeah. Campbell, can you raise raise your camera well, one more time? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, it keeps exactly. on dropping. Apologies. Awesome. But, Great. Yeah. So now here's one, uh, another one. Uh, this is on uh, uh, heart disease uh, uh, mortality, if you will. Uh, with uh, of all things, not not animal protein in this case, uh, but with cholesterol intake. You know how everybody thinks that cholesterol causes heart disease? No, it doesn't. I mean, it might play a, a small minimal role in, in advancing the disease, but it's not the cause of heart disease. And that's another whole story in itself I can tell in due course. But in any case, as we increase the consumption of cholesterol, and shown here on the y-axis in this case, we increase the risk of uh, heart disease, mortality, death rates. Look where the U.S. is, right number one, right at the top. Again, we see the same thing. This line, this regression line, as I say, put that blind on there myself. These researchers did not do that because they were thinking about one thing at a time. So here we got a regression, regression line like the others, but right down, right through the XY origin almost, suggesting that the moment we start consuming cholesterol from animals, that's, all we, that's where we get it from, as soon as we start consuming that, then risk of heart disease starts to go up. And it's a huge difference, as you can see, when you compare all the countries together. Here's one for colon cancer. This is pretty straightforward. Meat consumption uh, with, uh, in this case, uh, uh, meat consumption is animal protein, mainly. It was representing the same point that I'm making here is an increase in animal protein intake. Different countries again. Notice where the U.S. is, right? At the other top, right? right to the top again uh and i mean that this line here is really remarkable all these lines are it what it says in a very convincing way will never be shown otherwise i'm not just pulling things out of the thin air this is reality revert research of other people as soon as we start putting animal food in a diet that's we run the risk up on all these different diseases and there's more by the way here's one on you know, urine cancer they looked at this and represented it as total fat intake, and therefore they concluded, like everybody else would, that total fat is related to uterine cancer incidence. No, total fat in this particular case is correlated by uh, 0 0.94 across the different countries around the world. Total fat intake is pretty much a function of animal food intake. Again, the USA is the top at the top. So we just we start eating animal food, less plant food, obviously. We get much more urine cancer. Look at all these different diseases that are appearing. And so, anyhow, I, I got some more slides. I just want to make the point that is that as soon as we start increasing our consumption of animal food in our diet, and therefore decreasing plant food, so a lot of the effects of plant food, by the way. But as soon as we start, you know, believing that idea that animal food is important because animal protein, then we get these diseases. Uh, and so I'm saying that all these representations here, although they 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 point to different nutrients and different foods maybe and so forth, uh, that they're really all surrogates of animal protein. Because those things alone, they do not do, do the things that uh, otherwise. So that's for animal protein, not plant protein. You'll see here this uh, chart here I put up here. Is, this is my friend from uh, Canada that did the saturated fat thing. He also put on unsaturated fat, which is present in plant foods, and it's always said and believed that unsaturated fats are good and saturated fats are bad. That's wrong, by the way. Um, so 
as we increase, uh, I put a thing on plant protein in there, it should have been unsaturated fat, I was doing for another reason. As you can see, that with as we increase the consumption of uh, plant protein, we don't get a relationship. We don't get it. We only get it for animal foods. So uh, now, just for a point I'd like to make here involving all these charts and some more, the bone fracture rate and my gosh, there's some others. Uh, I, I just wanted to show you enough here that is uh, so common. Uh, namely, there's some common features about all those charts. First off, the United States is at or near the top on, on disease rates for all these because we eat the most protein, animal protein at that. Uh, so we're, that's, we're very tightly coupled with that idea. Uh, and it turns out the highest rates, if we look at, the, at these charts in the aggregate, the highest uh, rates and versus lowest rates, it turns out the highest rates are 10 to 15 times higher than the lowest rates. I mean, it's quite a bit. And several of them are a lot more than that. I'm really being quite conservative here when I say it's at least 10 to 15 times higher. So what it says in theory is that if we could, if we were near the top and we did what the countries did near the bottom, we could practically eliminate all these uh, these diseases, if you will. Uh, which suggests that most of these diseases can be prevented, even reversed, I should say. Uh, and then a third point that I want to make about those charts is that the linear regression, those lines that I was drawing in the charts, uh, goes essentially through the origin, the XY origin, which means in theory that as soon as animal protein is put into the diet, changes in uh, plant food too. We get less disease, almost zero disease. And in, in zero, that's what this basically is saying. So it really puts a, a, a really a, a seal almost on the idea. Animal protein consumption, I'll get it this later, is thought to be very important because I call it that's untrue. We've been living with that for over 100 years. Uh, and uh, in reality, when we start to put that kind of stuff in our diet, we're going to get an increased risk and dramatically increased risk in many cases. For a lot of these diseases. So I'm suggesting this, and I don't have time to get into this whole, with the whole seminar, but basically uh, disease prevention, these kind of diseases and others, or re reversed, such as what Dr. Estefan did with heart disease, for example, uh, the, the, uh, these diseases can be not only prevented if we do it the right thing, but in many cases it can actually be reversed if we switch. And I'm saying that a minimum of 90% of these diseases can actually be brought down to a very low risk and not get them at all. And in a lot of cases, actually reverse them if we choose to change our diets. I just find this whole idea really almost staggering. And it is something that is it's an observation, that I would say, that will never be shown otherwise. It's in that territory called facts, because you can't find somebody's not going to come along and get a bunch of countries and show to do the opposite it won't simply won't happen okay so we, we eat the wrong food we eat lots of animal foods and for all kinds of millions of kinds of explanations and so forth uh we, we get this effect all working together 